Mountains Come to the Helix, Part 2. If you guys want to see how I got to this point, watch this video. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to BNSS 6951, a Vinny Vid Productions video. Hi, I'm Vinny and I will be your host. The content you'll find on this channel would be layout run obsessions, layout updates, tips, tricks, and techniques on scratch builds, kit builds, and kit bashing, how to's, live streams, and some rail fanning then please consider to hit that subscribe button. And after you hit that subscribe button, please hit that bell. This way you'll get notified every time I do an upload video or a scratch build or a live stream. Finally, if you can give me one of those, I would really appreciate it because that would help my analytics with YouTube. If you enjoy all of this stuff, then let's get on with this video. We'll be right back. All right, guys, before I continue on uh, Mountains Come to the Helix, I want to show you a change that I am making. Now, this was originally in this place, right where it's at right now, but behind it here was a row of DPM uh, street buildings. Now, because of my hand situation, where I'm not going to be able to do any models for a while, I decided to take the buildings that were there and move them up to the El Mirage area. So now I have a complete two city blocks of buildings that are all painted up and uh, those just need to get the uh, those are the uh, Walther's kits the uh, uh, Merchants Row they just need to get glazing and then lighting and then all of these uh, lighting anyhow uh, what I intend to do down here is I am going to move this stuff around this is going to be called SAS and that's going to be Sestito Auto Salvage and I'm going to move all of these things around so and so like this and change hands with my camera then what I'm going to do is right here I'm going to put a turnout and that turnout get these guys out of the way that turnout is going to lead to a track here like that so now I have another industry in the Glendale area and this will be Sestito Auto Salvage. Now I'm also going to add, I don't know where that building is going to go just yet. I don't know exactly how everything's going to be set up. But I had this scratch build from a way long time ago. I'm going to put this in here also, this building right here. And that's going to be the place where they crush the cars. So, with all that being said, now let's get on to the uh, project at hand. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're going to continue on the mountains come to the helix. So in this video, we're going to continue here and Dave Schenkel is on the other side. He's doing his stuff and I'm doing mine and hopefully we'll meet somewhere in the middle. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. And I want to turn this around a little bit. Here you go. And I want to bring it in a little bit. All right. So again, I got my line here. We're going to try and follow that line. Pass those scissors under here, please. Thank you.
This Vinny V production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, now it's time for the next step on your layout. Trees! I have been dealing with Bob for 7 years now and he does excellent work on his trees. So if you need some trees on your layout, check out Long Shadow's Trees. Tell him the cuz sent you. All right, guys, it's now time for the next step in this project, and that is to be adding some uh, plastic cloth on here. So I got a couple of sheets already cut up. I have a bucket of water right here. I got my little paintbrush right here that we're gonna use. I'll show you what I'm gonna use that for. And I'm gonna start from this divider right here, and then I'll do that side when I go on to the other side. We'll start here and come this way. So, that being said, I cut my sheets fairly large, and that'll go from the track. Oh, and by the way, I do have the track covered up with uh, tape. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the first one here. Wet this up nice and pretty. I know you guys can't see me wetting it up. All right, now, I do have plastic under the layout too. So we're gonna take this first piece, and we're gonna lay him right down. by the track. Uh -huh. We'll fill in this piece up here later on. Now we're going to take the second piece, which is a little bit larger, and we're going to go from here down and around this corner. So let's see if we can do that. This kind of gets rid of all the little bubbles in there. And then the paint will take care of the rest. Mm 
this is where they used to start and set it up. Alright, what I want to do now is cut this piece that I have down here in half. <clears throat> and these are just a pair of scissors to cut these guys. And by the way, this is Woodland Phoenix plastic cloth. I have other brands that I'll be using. Alright guys, one thing I want to show you before I continue on, uh, we're going to continue on from this space right here, right now, and uh, it's pretty dry, so if I put the next piece of plaster on top of this, it's going to suck all the water out of it and uh, make it a bit harder to uh, adhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray that with just regular H2O, and I don't know how I'm going to do this, I guess I'll do it from under here, just to wet it. So when I put my next piece on there, it won't suck the water out. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put my next piece on there, and then I'll continue on the rest of this. I only have those, about another 18 inches to do, and uh, this will be done. Um, I'm going to save some of it for Dave to do. I want him to get, it, I want him to get his hands dirty on this. So. Alright guys, let me show you how much we've gotten or I have gotten done or we have gotten done. Uh, you can see that the mountain is pretty much all the way around here and we'll continue on. Sorry I had to get so close there, I only have a very small space in between to get around here. And I think this is going to look good when, color, when we get some color on it. So yeah, so you guys remember that it only used to be up to here, now it goes all the way up to here. And I think that's going to look really cool once it gets some color on it. Anyhow, I'm going to leave this right here for Dave to do. I want to get his, get his hands wet on doing some plastic stuff. And you can hear that's pretty hard. Uh, another suggestion Dave had was for me to cut this off here and then just make the mountain come right to the edge and back down over here. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the clip when I cut this, but I did cut it. And as you can see, it is cut off. So now, the plan is to bring this mountain up to here, like this, and then back down to here. Anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video, and as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all folks, BNSF 6951, out.